What's up music makers, it's Luke from Sojourner Tracks and today I wanna to talk about using saturation with a plugin that is already in your stock logic library. Now, if you watch mix tutorials with any regularity, by now I'm sure you've heard of the importance of using saturation within our current digital climate. Um, and for those of us uh, like me who work in an almost exclusively digital workspace, we're missing out on the harmonic uh, content, the subtle overdrive that comes from running our signal through physical hardware. So whether that be tubes, transistors, recording to tape, all of that has like a sonic footprint um, that we've heard on probably you know 90% of the music we've listened to that we love that we compare our songs to. And so if you stack a bunch of digital tracks on top of one another and what you hear is, you know, it's weak, it's anemic, it's brittle, maybe harsh, um, it's probably because it's missing some of that glue, some of that uh, subtle saturation that kind of it trims off all the nastiness on top and kind of it just it just glues things together. It's it's hard to explain. And um, I'm not going to do a good job of it, so I'm going to stop right there. But um, if you've looked through your plugin library, you may have noticed that there's no category for saturation. Um, but Logic does have options for saturation. And I want to talk about one plugin specifically, which is multi effects, fat effects. Um, and if you haven't been curious enough to just go through your plugin list and see what's there, you may have never. Uh, opened this before. Um, I know I didn't um, for a while. Uh, and it is a multi effects. So you're getting the, the idea here is all these different modules that you can e either have active or inactive, as many or as few as you want. It's a really cool plugin for tone building. Um, a lot of different options in here. But nine times out of 10, what I come here for is the distortion. Um, and you can see you got three options here that you can have running simultaneously but you have this giant list here of different flavors of distortion to choose from, which I'm not saying they're as good as some of those, you know, some of the other stuff that's on the market, but you should at least uh, check it out, give it a shot um, because there's a lot here. Um, and I know some of the big name plugins tend to be a little pricey. So before you go out and buy anything, check it out. It's already in here in your library. So I'm just going to go through a few of these and uh, just kind of show you what's going on. I've got a mix knob over here that we can kind of blend this in. And then um, you know you want to watch your output um, as you overdrive things and they get louder. So this is great for your drum bus, your bass, uh, vocals, you know, whatever you want to use it on, but you could even, um, you know, put it on your stereo out. It is, like I said, a, it's a, what I would consider tone building. So you probably want this after your surgical EQ and maybe your first compressor that's kind of catching the, uh, the peaks. Um, but 
there are so many different flavors here to choose from. And, you know, I just barely scratched the surface as far as what you can do with the percentage of the saturation as compared to the mix. You know, you can really um, be subtle with this. And I think that's the one distinction that I had to make when I first started um, working with saturation is that I'm a guitar player. So for me, distortion is like in your face, you know, distortion is you kicking on a pedal and everything gets loud and just really dirty and crunchy. Um, saturation, on the other hand, while using some of the same, um, you know, it's, it's, it's basically the same element there, but the idea is not to be in your face. It's to add some, some, um, color obviously. And sometimes that's going to be not even something that you necessarily would pick out of the mix, but you can imagine if you're adding this to your whole mix, how that might change. And, um, you know, harmonics being what they are, you're not going to get the same, um, harmonic distortion from every instrument. So those things are going to kind of blend and kind of glue everything together. So it's a really cool, um, you know, go out there, mess around with it, and uh, just check out what Logic has to offer before you uh, go drop um, drop your hard-earned money on a third-party plugin. So hopefully that inspires you to go out there, get things a little bit dirty, and um, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.